Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another live edition of Mafia Roundtable with Dominic Sicali. Glad to see everybody uh, in the chat room. I was there going back and forth. We said, hey, pal, you selling a case of 750s EG for trials? You have to go on the website. If you want egvodka.com, go to the website. Things are posted there. Stop listening to people and their false propaganda. But we are selling EG Vodka. So also uh, thank everybody. Um, glad people are coming on to the show. And we're going to address some topics today. Not that we wanted this type of format, but you know what? I'm not going to back down from what people have to say, their negativity, their BS. We're just going to keep on going at it um, back and forth. Do not address my name or put my name in your tag and then make false allegations or false uh, statements or even in your taglines. It's false, totally false. I'm going to come at you. And you know what, people? Um, I like the guys. I still like them. They're entitled to their opinion, their thoughts. But if they claim they want to be reporters, then report. Report. You could be one-sided. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. There's sometimes... They have taken my back. Now, all of a sudden, they're on the Molino side, the Gotti side, which I know. Cool. I'm all right with that. I'm fine with that. I have no problems. But don't put words in my mouth. Don't distort my words. Don't twist my words when I say something. That, that's, that's where I will come back. I want the record to be straight. The way Mikey Scars is going with uh, Scammy. He wants the record to be straight. I want my record to be straight. And I will clarify. People aren't going to just come out there and say stuff. And it's going to be okay. And I'm just going to let it go. Now, the trolls that are out there, I don't even bother with. I don't even bother with. Like, it's just, it's no nonsense. They have about, when they do their lives, they have three followers. So, when I, and I'll be, that's inaccurate. They have about 40, 30, 40. But to each his own. That's all right. They want to go out and say things. They could say whatever they want. I'm not going to address stupidity. And, uh, you know, when anybody wants to make uh, disparaging, nefarious comments about E.G. Vaca or E.G. Vaca's owners, E.G. Vaca, I'm letting it known to everybody, E.G. Vaca's attorneys will be seeking legal action against anybody saying slanderous statements that are unfounded and untrue. So, and trust me, there will be consequences and I'll just let everybody know. And it's not about the money. The people don't have to be, have money. We will go after them. Uh, EG Vodka will go after them. EG Vodka will seek damages and will continue. So, and it's not about the funds. It's just about dragging them to court. Let them, that's it. They'll see. They'll see. So got that out of the way. Uh, so, people, go to egvodka.com, buy your vodka today. You'll love it 100% organic. Yesterday was a busy day to, for me. Went down to Miami. Uh, we Looks like we signed up the um, Aqualina Hotel, which is a Bojik Hotel. Beautiful, beautiful resort. It's in Sunny Isles. Uh, they are going to be ordering two cases of EG Vodka. They love the lavender. Loved it. And the uh, the guy, one of the head guys who does the ordering, tasted it cold. No, no ice. Just sipped it, and he was blown away. And even with the regular, so they are going to be putting it, and they're considering making it their well vodka, which I'm okay with. That well vodka sells a lot more bottles, so um, more power to them. They'll be one of the first hotels with well vodka that's. 100% organic for their clientele. So, folks, uh, there's a lot of benefits to that. So, thank you, uh, the staff at the Aquilina. I uh, appreciate it. And then we're going down there on Wednesday. Uh, we have some more uh, more places, sushi place, boats, uh, liquor boats. So, uh, we're making some headway. Everybody loves it. This, the vodka speaks for itself, so I don't even have to sell it. So, I'm not that good of a salesman. So, uh, But it's excellent. Guys, I'm going to read some of the comments from the earlier video, and then we'll go into some of the topics I have. And I'm not going to try to be redundant 
with things, but I want people to know. And I am going to state my facts. Uh, somebody just passed a comment. I have a hard on for Joe. I don't have a hard on for Joe. I really don't. It's the people out there that want to make false statements, that want to post, put my name in there. I'm going for it. I'm going to make sure the record's straight. And that's it. Bill, thank you for your contribution. Good evening, Dom and Maddie. Hope you're having a great day, a good day. Uh, yeah, I actually went to the gym early, had a strong leg workout, came back home, uh, did some landscaping, some blowing of leaves, um, and then took a nap. <laughs> I got in at one in the morning, was up at uh, about four o'clock. I went, uh, no, actually, 3.45, got out of bed this morning. So um, I needed to take a nap, you know, getting old, so it happens. Um, okay, one thing from Bachelor, I don't know, there's too much in his name, but anyway, I read through her comments and noticed a few haters again, LOL, these haters really don't have a life, it must be a terrible way to live, to sit in your basement waiting on YouTube for the YouTube alarm to sound, so you could go and write something horrible comment about someone, very pathetic and sad. That's all good. That's all right. I'm okay with all the hateful comments. There's a lot of supporters of uh, Joey. And more power to him. More power to him. He is a boss in the crime family. So uh, can't take that away from him. And he never cooperated. So that, that's definite. Uh, you wanna, you're the one who's reopening, a, who's reporting opinions, not facts. Molino, in my opinion, is the underdog versus the U.S. government. Absolutely correct he's the underdog. Why do you think I told him? Don't challenge the government on your show. You can't win. You're definitely the underdog. But on this YouTube platform, he's not the underdog. So you got to give him that. He's not the underdog, that's for sure. And people, I, I take bad comments too, and I, I address them. It's not, I don't cherry pick my comments, that's for sure. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. Sh okay, this is talking about what was said yesterday, why I'm here. I'm going to leave this for last. So that I think need to. Angel Gotti is completely out of her mind. Trying to continue to compare John Gotti Jr. with Molino. She so badly wants to form a stand-up family, but her brother is a cooperator in his own words. He himself said... He had a moment of weakness when he did his 302. Give the government info equals rat. Molino and everyone who's been inside knows that. Knows that. Stop it, Angel. Okay. Let me address this on two fronts. Number one, having a weak moment, you're a rat. Just like if I had a weak moment and I had a sexual encounter with a guy, I'm gay. There's no way about it. You're gay. Once you cross the line, you cross the line. And there's other things I will address. So we'll go into it further. And of course, she wants to have that the legacy of the father that, you know, powerful, almighty. But uh, the son, your brother, destroyed that legacy. That's for sure. There is no comparison between them two. Joey fought for his position, not inherited it, and never cooperated. Not that people should look up to anyone, any one of them, but comparing them as mafiosos. So true. Joey did, didn't inherit anything. He fought his way to the top, went through a mob war. Got to give him kudos for that, 1,000%. Uh, as far as John Jr., he was a paper boss, never... Nobody respected him. And what he did, he did rat. I have the 302s here. That's Federal Bureau Investigations that we'll be sharing. Okay, here's another one regarding... Uh, a lot of people don't like agree with John Jr., by the way. Nobody can deny that John Jr. cooperated. I read all his 302s in the back of A-Light's book. Jr. himself doesn't deny it. He says he had a weak moment. And he will always be ashamed of what he did and the day he had the proffer session. But to be fair, there is that's where it ended. I dare to say, even if 
even it got the government even more furious at him, feeling like they've been played. Yeah, because Junior gave the 302s. He went in to cooperate, signed the cooperation agreement um, from what I'm reading. And I could be wrong on signing the cooperation agreement. Or he signed the paperwork on his statement. That's a better way of phrasing it. Um, and then he decided not to cooperate. So, yeah, they're going to have a hard on. And they did take him to trial. So I'll go on and read. They came after him four times. I have no dog in the fight. I couldn't care less about somebody cooperating. I'm a civilian and I don't know anything about what conflicting thoughts and emotions lead to someone's cooperation. But to be fair, there is levels of cooperation. That's where I have cooperating. I heard Sammy and others say it as well. Well, Sammy's, and I hate to say it, is just losing his mind. Others saying it as well because they try justifying why they cooperated. There is no level of cooperation. Once you cross that door, you cooperate. Once you give information, you cooperate. A rat's a rat's a rat. Yes, there's more cooperators, more rats that gave more valuable information and you know took down more people. Happens. But you can't say there's a level. That's like, I'm a serial killer. I only killed 20 people. And I'm a serial killer. I killed 50 people. You're a serial killer, regardless. So, yes, there's levels. I, some did more, some did less damage, but it's all the same. Once you cooperate and give information, because let me tell you, folks, even though there's five pages on John Jr., nobody knows what led to that information. The feds don't tell you. So you don't know. There could have been a 1,000 arrests. There could have been 10 arrests. There could have been 100 arrests. You don't know what they led to. You don't know. With those five pages, maybe all five, six, seven people that were mentioned, there, they all cooperate. So it's a snowball effect. So because of John Jr.'s statement, only five pages, but five people cooperated. Say, say I know you as a for instance, say if it was myself, he gave information on me, never testified against me. But then the feds come to me or they trap me off hey, because of this, this is what led to it. And I say, okay, I'm going to cooperate. Now look at all the damage I did. I took down, I think, two administrations in the Bananos. All the people that got arrested because of me. What was the stem of it? John Jr. So he's responsible for that. So to say levels, there you don't know what level it is. You don't know. So um, Sammy Vital, and he went into that. So basically, you know, he gave... This 302. So a rat's a rat's a rat, myself included. Um, okay. Now we'll go to the last one where I said I'll pull to the side. Yeah. I didn't like the show yesterday. They were talking about the show where Dominic Sakali, and I'll read the title so everybody sees it. Um, let's pull it up and see if I even have it here first. No, I don't have it here first. So, okay. Dominic Sicali goes hard at Joey Molino and John Gotti. Okay. So, yeah, I didn't like the show yesterday. Those two guys are ruining their own credibility. If they're going to be they if they're going to be a show that gives news or reports, this is what I'm getting at, folks. On all the others. They can pick sides. And this thing they do about not liking rats, I'm okay with that. You don't have to like me. I'm perfectly fine. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. You're not going to be liked by everybody. If they're not mob, they're not mob. They're not in the mob. They're regular guys. They're supposed, they're not supposed to like monsters either, last I checked. They have to pick a lane. And obviously, if somebody happens to you or Gene, if something happens, I'm sorry, people, if something happens to you or Gene, the feds know exactly where to go. It's fact they are watching. They're always, they, they've always used shit Panisi has said, I think, and others. Much love from GWL. Well, folks, I can't speak for all that about it. Um, Panisi, I really don't watch him. I heard him a few times. 
Uh, there's some things I agree with him, some things I disagree. It's just the way it is. But um, what was I getting at? I don't like the fact, don't misconstrue my words. Don't put a twist on it. And I'm okay. You could say, you could pick a side. It's no big deal for me. I still like them. I don't dislike them. And uh, everybody's entitled to their opinion, like I said. So it just is what it is. And uh, that's it. I have uh, one last thing. It's really touching from somebody. And I'm going to read this uh, towards the middle of the show. I think it's really, um, this is what gives me the strength in moving on with these shows. Um, and really, it is touching. And he wanted this private. I was keeping it private. Uh, I'm not going to say the name because he asked for the privacy. But when I emailed him back, uh, the gentleman said, go ahead. You could uh, that, and I'll read the statements, the comments back and forth, which were nice. So, first off, I'm going to show some pictures. This one, let's see, where are we? Hey, Dominic Sakali, John Gotti and I did our time. Can you say the same? And see, folks, can I say the same? Yeah, I can say the same. I did my time, too. The only difference is two differences. John Gotti ratted. Is this 302s, folks? 302. Federal and Bureau of Investigation, date transcript, January 16, 2006. John Gotti Jr., also known as AKA Jr., was present at the U.S. Attorney's Office, Southern District in New York, 500 Pearl Street, New York, New York, on January 18th, 2005, for a proffer session. That's a rat session, it's called, folks. This meeting was arranged at Gotti Jr.'s request. Gotti Jr.'s request as for a proffer session to tell. Also present was Gotti's attorneys, Jeffrey Lippman and Mark Furnish, two of the top attorneys in New York. Mark Furnish is a beast with appeals. They were on my team. And Jeffrey Lippman is really good as well. Very sharp, witty. As well as assistant U.S. attorney Robert Bushler, June Kim, and Jennifer Rogers, Southern District. District. If the Gotti Jr. and his attorneys read the proffer agreement, read the proffer agreement, and the terms of that agreement were explained to them by AUSA, Gotti Jr. signed the agreement. Gotti Jr. thereafter provided the following information. First, the murder of Danny Silva. Folks, and I'm not going into everything, but here. There it is. So, not like Mr. Molino, I'm going to pick and choose. There's five pages of this. And it's online. You can find it. It's all, it's there. Five pages. Five pages of information. Five pages. But I just had a weak moment, folks. I had a weak moment. I had a weak moment. You're a rat, Mr. Gotti. Sorry. Fact. There is no weak moment. You crossed the line. So, then the next uh, caption in there. See? There it is. And I'll read it. It has me saying, nothing better happen to me or Gene Borriello. The feds are watching. Now, we'll go in. We'll go into some of the conversations that I've heard in here. And, yes, I did make a statement. The feds are watching all this, especially now with Joey Molino in the limelight of YouTube and the mafia genre. They are definitely watching and taking notes. I did state, feds are watching. Anything should happen. Prime suspect is going to be Joey. Because he's out there, and all of a sudden Joey comes out. Now, two something happens to two people. 
yes, he'll be the prime sus suspect. And I did say, and I'll go into this again, I'll reiterate because I'm going to play voice video so people could hear. I did say the government will, if something happens to myself, Gene, any cooperator, Mikey Scars, even Sammy, Franchise, uh, Panisi, A Light, and the list is long. Anything happens to any one of us, or even the cooperators that aren't on YouTube, the government will come down hard and heavy on every New York City crime family, and now Philly as well, because Molino just catapulted into the limelight with these internet YouTube piss matches going back and forth. It will happen because here, folks, just common sense. We're cooperators. What would it do? Here's what happens. One, somebody winds up dead. The government has to react to make a statement and show you killed one of our own that cooperated, helped us, helped Team USA. If they don't come down hard and heavy, then everybody out there will be, oh, shit, we could kill cooperators. They're saying it's okay. And it'll prevent other people from cooperating or thinking twice. So, yes, the, and the organized crime bosses, they all know that. They're all, they all know that. Why do you think the rats are running rampant in New York and New Jersey, working construction sites in Manhattan, Jersey, five boroughs? They're, they're engaged. They're even given kickbacks. They're given funds. I call it kickbacks. It could be whatever it is. I use that term loosely. But they're giving them funds to make guys. And they're, they're accepting it. So these are statements. These are facts. The normal, any common sense. So, and yes, we're in touch with them. How you doing? How have you been? Is everything okay? That's all. They just, after a while, after so many years, there's, you build relationships with these people because we're human beings. It happens. You know, I had Greg Andres tell me one time when he was threatening me, he'll rip my agreement up. He says, Dom, this is business. No matter how much anybody in this room likes you, we will rip your agreement up. Do not put your hands on another person again while you're, since you cooperated. And that's the story when I beat up that rat hunter. So now we'll come into some voices. Let's see. Let me play this one again. Our informants. And they say it's, it's a fact that Joey is not part of that in life anymore. Matter of fact, I know both names of the people. I'm not going to say their names on here, but I know who the boss is now and who his underboss is now. So James, why does he keep insinuating this? Is it, you know, um, I mean, I guess, you know, and that's something that he's not the only one, but the thing is that a lot of people just don't under, understand what, what happened. They, you know, they think of Philly as, the same as a New York family, the way that they operate. But yeah, I mean, uh, we can go back to 2011, 2012. Guys, Philly is a crime family. The Philly family is a crime family. Um, so coming on social media, not doing the right thing. And to say, you know who the boss and current underboss is, number one, they're not in the life. They were never in the life. They're not even associates of organized crime. The papers. Yeah, everybody could look in the papers and see who says what. Because I have comments here saying, hey, my cousin's real close with Molino. And Molino stepped back. He stepped back and put somebody up front, which is the normal thing to do for protection. So let's we'll go one further. Let me go on the Internet and say I'm not part of the mafia anymore because now I'm on the Internet. Just like the chin did with the crazy act walking around, you know, the crazy boss. So that's not going to work. Um, he is part um, of the mafia. That, that's just that you don't go through wars and battles to hit that top level with all the millions of dollars you're bringing in a year and then step back. So. There's one thing you put people up in front to protect you, that you're isolated. Cool. Maybe have one person you meet clandestine, maybe 
once a month, once every three months. That's the way it works, folks. I was in the life. But for Lee and James to pass a statement, they don't know the life. So, of course, people are going to throw out to them because they're a source for them. And I'm okay with that. But, again, so we have here. Home turf, walk down the street, he gets treated like he's a hero. Everybody likes him. People on the street respect him. So, you see, they, and this is and this isn't just dominant. This is informants in general. Yeah. Informants got to attack people that didn't inform and try to bring them down to their level. Tell me, why do you think that is? Yeah. Um, as far as attacking, I don't attack to bring anybody down to my level. I cooperated, but at the end of the day, still a man. Um, I don't hide from it. I admit when I'm wrong, admit when I'm right, and I'll back everything. But to pass an innuendo like I'm attacking poor Joey, not attacking him or John Gotti Jr. My name was mentioned. I'm keeping it straight. And I heard Joey mention my name, this Chicali, who, who knows him with his little sidekick, Puff, you know, passing statements. But, you know, I'm definitely going to go at you, especially if you're inaccurate. If you're right, I'll say, you know why he said something? Cool, he got it right. Let's move on. But um, I'm not worried. I'm not concerned. And I will definitely keep it real. And, yes, people love him. Like people love John Gotti Sr. Uh, but John Gotti Sr., and I'll go into this uh, on the next soundbite. So he wants to get two things at one time. And James, you and I did a you and I did a show about how the mob got destroyed. And so he you know, he's talking about John Gotti destroyed the mob, and uh, and then he says that John Gotti's stupid, and he says that Merlino were stupid. Actually, he kept quoting that. I think it's how stupid are they? Uh, yes, I did say that. Thousand percent correct. They are stupid, the both of them. John Gotti signing autographs like he's a celebrity. He's the boss of the Gambino crime family. Wait, wait, wait. He's not stupid. He has everybody once a week, twice a week going to the Raven night. Knowing the feds are taking pictures. You have to know. Making it easy that everybody in this whole crime family. So let's expose everybody. That's not a stupid move. Him upstairs in the Raven night. Inside, talking about Sammy, murders, Sammy's uncontrollable. I, John Gotti, will sever his effing head being on tape. That's not a stupid move. What Joey Molino's doing now, because I know people are going to stick up for him, so I'm not even going to go into this because it's redundant. It's a stupid move. He shouldn't be on the internet. You're throwing it and then saying he's going to challenge the government. He's going to show everybody how corrupt the government is. Come on, that's not a stupid move. People, anybody who says different on this channel or in the comment boxes, you're just a moron then. I'm sorry. I'm going to keep it real. You're a moron. You're exposing the life even more. You're exposing your guys. And to say, they, well, Rico, they did time on the crimes. They did this. Trust me, folks. Whether it be tomorrow, a week from now, a month from now, a year from now, 10 years from now, when that indictment comes down, and they're locked up once again, fighting for their lives. Don't say I didn't tell everybody. Dead, or if something happens to me or Gene, they know where to go. So he was insinuating that if something happened to me, it would be, uh, they would know to go to uh, Joey. What? Uh, what do you think? That's what he said? Yeah. Yeah, that's what he said twice during the show. Maybe more. I heard him twice say that. <laughs> and, uh, oh, God, that's ridiculous. Think of that, Tommy. that is ridiculous. And, yes, what I did say was the fact they would be the prime suspects, of course. There's a battle on the internet. But what happened? How did that happen, Joe? Joe put himself on the internet. And that's it, of course. There'll be a prime suspect. Yes. Uh, the feds are watching. The feds are, um, they would have to make a statement and come at all families strong. If something's happened to myself, Gene, or any other cooperator out there, of course they're going to come. Hell would have no fury they're going to come down that hard. It's just the way it is. And, folks, it's that's reality. That's reality. So, um I didn't say anything out of line. 
So, but I'm not snitching. I'm telling it the way it is. That's common sense. If I died tomorrow, say if I go out in the street, I get shot. They don't know who did it. What's everybody on this channel going to think? So what do you think the feds are going to think? So um, there we go with that. So, folks, um, I'll answer questions. We'll go into it. But I just don't like the um, the innuendos. Oh, another important fact in the comment. You're putting John Gotti and Joey Molino on the same playing field? Again, John Gotti ratted 302s. Yeah, we all did our time, myself included. Matter of fact, I might have did more time in jail than both John Gotti Jr. I know I did more time than John Gotti Jr. Joey, I might have did more time, or we might be up there neck and neck. I got maybe a little over 20 years in prisons myself. So lost all my mostly all my 20s, 30s, and half of my 40s. So um so we all did our time, but to say John Gotti Jr. and Joey Molino are here, no. John Gotti Jr. is a rat. There's 302s that I just showed everybody. I read the top statement. He signed the agreement. He asked to go into the profit section. He's a rat. Joey Molino, there's no 302s. He never went, as far as we know today, there's nothing on him. He never went into uh, to talk to the government, never provided information for the government. And that's the way it is. So with that, and that's it. So with all that nonsense, that's what I had to say. I said my piece. Now, before I start answering questions, people, listen to me, please. You will not be disappointed. Go here. EGVACA.com. Order your vodka today. Uh, for the people that already ordered, shipments will be going out this week. And I want people just to comment. And for the haters out there, please stop with the nonsense. This is a company. It's a business uh, trying to build its the sponsoring. So just keep it real. Like, why would you want to try to hurt the fame, say things that are untrue about a company? That That's not cool. But we'll be – and people, when you go out to your restaurants, ask for EG. Ask for EG. If they don't have EG, tell them they could go to RNDC. RNDC is our distributor, and they'll get it. So tell them to go to RNDC. They could fulfill it. They could bring it in their restaurants. Once they sign up with them that we know we get the sheet every week, uh, who signed up, who, got, who received liquor, we'll go there, do drink menus for them, uh, give them bar mats, whatever they need. Uh, to support it. We'll do tastings there. So we could be a presence. So go to your restaurants, even ask in the liquor stores, tell them R and DC and we could get in the liquor stores and it'll be cheaper for you people to get it. So that's, um, that could be a plus all the way around. Now, this is from one of the viewers that really, it touched me. And this is what keeps me going, keeps me motivated, keeps me fired up. When I say, I hope it touches people. It helps people, what I say, especially when I tell these kids. I tell people, life is not easy, folks, myself included. I had a lot of ups, downs, especially now coming home, starting my life over again. It was extremely difficult. Nothing was given to me. I busted my butt and I worked for it. Uh, I was fortunate enough. I have God that oversees me, watches me. Um, and he just gives me so much pulls back, gives me so much pull back. I'm like, I get to a pinnacle where I'm set and whoop, pulls it. So I guess it's to just keep me humble, but I have no complaints in life. I go through my own struggles and, uh, thank God I always persevere. But this was said to me, hi, Dom. I listened to your podcast for the last eight months and just want to say thank you from the UK. Your outlook and positivity has changed my mindset. I lost my company during COVID, a company that turned over around $5 million, $5 million a year, got divorced, and worst of all, lost my four-year-old boxer dog from a freak accident of her jumping off the bed and damaging her spinal column. My condolences for that, your dog. Oh, my God. 
that had to be tragic, especially a little pup. No, not a pup, but a baby still. I hid in alcohol, feeling sorry for myself. But if, after listening to your story, I pulled myself together. This morning, a run, I ran five miles at the gym. I had a good job. I have a good job working at a large company and have a new partner, so I feel blessed. This is a pri this is private. Thank you for not not something not sharing for YouTube as I'm a private person. And again, thanks for keeping up the good work. Jillian football team is pronounced by us locals as Gillerin? Giller, I don't know. I apologize for that. He had me laughing, though, with that. So I responded to him. Dear blank, I am totally speechless and lost for words. Never in my wildest dreams have I thought I would be helping people through their tough times and struggles. God does work in mysterious ways. Who would have thought? Not me. That's for sure. I respect your privacy. However, do you mind if I share your story without mentioning your name? You expressing how I've been a positive impact to help you through tough times is what truly needs to be shared. And you expressing this to help, help me move forward as well. Between us, I too have doubts and at times feel like WTH. I have my own struggles every day and demons I deal with. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for your words and knowing there are people out there that I am helping helping get through their struggles is what fuels me to proceed instead of giving up. Much love and respect. Furthermore, Jillian Ham, LOL, P.S., I will not mention your name. Thank you. Cecilia Dominic. He wrote back. Hi, Dom. It is I that is speechless. I never thought you would take the time to reply to me. I am over the moon. Yes, of course. Mention me. Although, please, not my name. I would be honored. You have not. You have got me through some dark, dark days, and for that, I am truly grateful. When I am at the gym for my morning run, it is your podcast that I listen to. Although not a big mafioso, I do understand and respect your choices when it comes to informing with the government. It's obvious it hurt you with regards to your friend Vinny. It destroyed me. Till this day, it hurts. However... He let you down massively, both informing and the money you were swindled out of when locked up. It's still, but he didn't do it intentionally as far as telling Joe about the killings, but it, again, it is what it is. It seems to me that teaming up with the government was the best choice you have ever made in your life, you have ever made. You have your wife and friends that are true, and not just because you are a mobster, but because you are who you are. What I do understand and know is you're a decent man with family values, and I wish you nothing but the best. Hopefully, your vodka takes off and you get permission to ship to England. Keep up the good, all in high, bold letters. Keep up the good work as with myself, you are helping people all over that that you've never met get their lives back on track with your positivity and strong outlook. Much respect and regards. Well, people, kids out there, see that? So there is helping. There are people that appreciate what I've done, me speaking positive, me standing up for myself against people, whatever it be, John Gotti, Molino, um, anybody out there just keeping it real. Yes, I did cooperate, but I'm on a different track, but it shows 
kids out there, people out there, you can change. You can be a positive impact for people. There's going to be the haters. Stay strong. Let them say what you want. Yeah, sometimes it hurts. You get upset. But you have to overlook that, folks. You have to, to be a better person. So let's go into the questions. Dom can put, let's see, Brian, you're a jerk off. I'm sorry, but I take that back. You're a big jerk off. Dom can fool people from Europe and not the Midwest, but that's not, that's about it. Okay, wonderful, Brian. So, uh, this guy Dom's a joke, man. I can catch, I can't watch anymore. Goodbye, KC. Wish you the best. Uh, Murder, vodka, and kids. Yes, yes. My past life, I murdered. Just the way Joey Molino murdered. So we got Joey Molino fans. Hate all you want, folks. Say your negativity. All you're going to do is fuel me even more. So keep on pushing that button. And trust me, cream rises to the top. And I'm already up there. Uh, let me see. From Peter Miller. Castellano had weekly meetings where attendees were requested at the Veterans and Friends. Yeah, but you know what? John Gotti had more meetings, more publicized in front of the government. So, and that's it. Let's see. Bella never knows. What's really pathetic is half of these haters are their own, are in their 40s and 50s. They'll never grow up. Probably so, Bella. But you know what? They could hate. So all it's going to do is fuel me even more. Uh, and that's it. So I, I like it. Keep it coming. Keep the hate coming, folks. You're not going to hurt me. Sticks and stones may break my bones. But these words will never hurt me. That's for damn sure. Um, 34, Bella. How old are you? That's from Roy. Roy, I'm glad you're 34, you know. And uh, I'm glad you're watching, too. Hate all you want. You're entitled to your opinion. I appreciate it. And it is what it is. I'm not going to please everybody in life. Just like a John Gotti Jr., Joey Molino, they're not going to please everybody. I'm sure they have their haters as well. So uh, who else? Junior didn't rat. He played the government. Yes, he ratted. It's here. It's right here. Right here, 302, profit session, signed the agreement, signed the agreement, then backed out. It's called Queen for a Day. You could back out. That's what he did. Ratted information. Get your story, your facts straight. He even said he had a weak moment. I didn't hear it with people commenting. So I'm going to go hit the like button now just because people – overdoing it in the chat. Listen, hit subscribe too. Hit subscribe, hit the like. Always controversy. Like I said, this is not going to be a monotone mafia roundtable. It's going to be exciting. You'll hear new things. You'll hear me going at people. Dom, all these haters are helping you. Listen, you're, what's that? Algor oh, algorithm. Listen, they could hate algorithm, no algorithm. I'm here. I'm keeping it real. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to be on top. I'm going to be on top because what I say is the truth. People who know me, even if you hate me, you have to admit I'm accurate. I'm accurate. And when I'm not, I'm the first one to say it. Did you ever donate to the underprivileged kids or juvenile centers and help? No, I haven't. Not yet. We do have funds sitting uh, in the account. I'm just waiting. It's on my fault with the 501C. But you know what? In another few days or a few weeks, I'm going to say, damn, the 501C, I'm just going to donate. And where I donate, we'll uh, do video on the phone and just show the donation. It was only, I think, 100 and something dollars. So I might donate maybe 500 just to, to put it in and show what I'm doing. The Bronx. Dom, didn't the feds come and make sure you got all your properties back? I think Moffitt Avenue, Mayflower was up. No, I got shit back. I got shit back. The government didn't help me with anything anything. They couldn't. They couldn't. I thought they would, but no. No, I didn't. Don't forget Robinson Avenue, where the police, the assistant police chief, Eduardo De La Torre, stole with Ponce de Leon Bank. I offered to buy out the note, what was existing, what was given, not the interest, and they settled. Instead of taking dollar for dollar, 
They went to maybe 10, 15 cents on a dollar and gave it to the formal police chief. And it's funny how he took all my properties on the Chang Wang Realty. Hit it. Hit it. But it came out. So it is what it is. It wasn't meant to be. Dumb. Can you get a good leg workout with dumbbells only? Can you share? Yes, you could get a great leg workout with dumbbells. Uh, I'll show a dumbbell workout. I'm working on something with somebody's gym, folks. It's supposed to be one of the premier gyms down here in Florida. So um, hopefully I'll get the rights to go in, film, and show the workouts. I'll do dumbbell workouts. I'll do barbell, everything, uh, machine workouts. And no even body workouts without any weight. So we have a lot of stuff coming out. CJ, thank you for the contribution. Junior didn't rat. He played the government to the benefit. No, he ratted. He gave information. Once CJ, once they have information, that's ratting. Because now that information, he's talking about a murder. Anything you're talking about, you're giving them information. You're giving them a roadmap into who was there, who did what. You're ratting. He didn't testify against anybody, but you're ratted. You gave information, so you're wrong with that. Ask anybody in the streets. Obviously, I don't think you're from the streets. You have to, and let me go on to finish what you said. By going into a prophet session, he would show he was out of the life. No, he's not showing you out of the life. Nothing he said could have, could have gotten anyone in trouble, read the whole 302s. How do you know that, CJ? How do you know? So I do a profit session. I'm ratting. That, that's the crux of it. That, why did he keep it secret, CJ? Why did he keep it secret? Why didn't he tell the other Gambinos? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in, <clears throat> make it look like I'm proffering, so I could say I'm out of the life, and they'll let me go. So why didn't he tell anybody that? Why did he keep it a secret? You know how it got out? The government came out and exposed it. That's how it got out. That was messed up. That was definitely messed up what the government did. But it is what it is. You got a great show, Dom. It is sad that people try to be tough through a keyboard. You are strong. Maybe that's what makes them mad. A real man can stand on his own feet like you. Thank you. But that's okay. That's okay. Let them go with their comments. And you know what? Lee had somebody on his show, Tommy. Never met the guy. Um, said some things I didn't agree with. Might even, excuse me, might even have gotten aggravated. But I like one thing he said, and I started laughing. And Tommy, this was a good one. Um, with government employees. <laughs> I made me laugh with that one. But listen, and he said he was going to comment. Oh, another thing. Let me address this. Tommy said, I go back and forth. I'm bashing and then I'm nice. I'm bash. No, I try to keep it real because as I'm telling my stories or as I'm making statements, here's what I disagree. Here's what I think. And as I'm going, well, here's what he, this is good. This is good what he did. This is okay. I try to be fair. I try to be impartial. Even though they're against me, I try to be impartial. I keep it real. Whether to me, it's it doesn't make sense. I'm not going to make statements that I don't believe in. I believe in everything I say. And then when I'm wrong, I'll say I'm wrong. That's the difference. Uh, I think Tommy's his name, Tony. That's the difference. I've owned bars, restaurants in the past. Curious as to upside aspirations of EG. Upside aspirations of EG, 100% organic, gluten-free. Made in the USA. Need I say more? With everybody with organic, this is perfect. And it's so clean, I have never had a hangover. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're mixing sweet, 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 the sugar will give you a hangover from the sweet, not from the vodka. Not from the vodka, folks. Chicky. John. Okay, this is John B. Course Jr., John Jr. because uh, doesn't believe in the bullshit YouTube. He's taking care of his family. Yes, he is. Got to give him that. But I think he was he was coming out with Mafia Woodsack. He was doing something. No, I commend him in that sense. I don't knock him. Uh, smart man. Stepped away from the life. Got out of the life. 
And I don't think it was smart that he's living in New York, but to each his own. Whatever they told him, he feels safe. So got to give him that. He's man enough that better man than me staying in New York, that's for sure. But um, I got to give him that. He looks like he's definitely walked away from the life. He's not part of it, doing the right thing with his kids. And I commend him for that. So, John Jr., keep on doing what you're doing. I commend you for uh, walking away from the mafia. That's for sure. Let's see what else we have. 100% realist show out there. I, Danny, I try. I try my best. And uh, I don't back away, as you could say, from the hard questions, the nasty comments. I'll read them, too. Um, and I'm here for the kids. Here for the kids and build a brand. And uh, maybe one day, you know, I, I'll feel good about what I do with myself. But I always I have a lot of demons I deal with. And it's, it's just difficult at times. Um, let's hear what for the kids about the kids in the show. I'm just trying to tell the kids in these stories. It's not about the life. It's not about the mafia. It's not about the streets. They're not your friend. Oh, we have Danny with his very articulate. Danny, you are so articulate. A rat is a rat is a rat. Okay, and I've always said that. And and what else? So stupidity. Bella never knows. Dom, I love my rap too. I'm trying to change the subject. LOL. Did you like Too Sure? Oh, I love Too Sure. Blow the Whistle was his best song. Uh, that was a good song. So, um, Oh, actually, folks, I'm in, I have a few different vehicles. So <clears throat> one of them was a gift, a little Mercedes. And I'm in the car yesterday. So heading, I was heading to a friend's house who drove, actually Carrie's house. He drove down to Miami. So I'm heading to his house. <clears throat> and all of a sudden, my wife with her CDs. So I guess some of my CDs got locked up. So I'm listening. All of a sudden, I she had in there the, um, uh, what's it called? The track. It was a, um, a demo, demo track of my rapper's. So I'm going to be playing it for people so they could hear what my group sounded like. We have um, LG, Cardi, Donnie. Um, you'll hear Donnie's a female. She sounds just like uh, Eve. You're going to think it was Eve. I'm going to play some of the music back then. Uh, and our producer was Arabian Night, so out of Brooklyn. So wait till you hear this. I'm asking valid questions, Salvatore, like always. Okay, I didn't see your valid question, but if it comes through again, I'll, hopefully I'll see it. Godfather Sakali, can you tell us the story about how Bobby Luisi brought what is button from Joey Molino, please? Love the podcast, boss. Always on the road, and I'm a subscriber. You know what? I've heard, and I'm not... I think Bobby told me, and the way he put it was like he didn't pay for it. But I'm like, I looked at the guys in the in the unit. I'm like, oh, that mofo did pay for his button. I think he gave. He said he gave. It was either five thousand or ten thousand dollars. And Joey Molino then straightened him out, and you know said he was a captain, made him a captain. And Bobby lived in Boston. So he answered to Joey Molino. So, but um, I'm like, how many guys you have in your crew? He says, well, myself, I had a couple of guys. <laughs> I started laughing, but they weren't made guys. So, um, you know, to each his own. But Bobby's a really nice guy. He got a good laugh out of that. He had me laughing. Bobby's very, uh, his demeanor is really calm when we were away. And uh, just happy-go-lucky. Knows the Bible inside and out. Inside and out knows the Bible. Very uh, well-versed with the Bible. I do respect that Dom owns it, though. If more owned it, there would be less 
real street guys getting ticketed by the informant, getting tricked by the informant. Listen, it uh, wasn't a good thing that I ratted. Um, I still have my demons with it, but I keep it real. Even when I was in the streets, I kept it real. I never backed down, always was 100. So that's just my personality. I don't know any other way. And sometimes my mouth does get me in trouble, but I could care less. Even with the prosecutor when I was cooperating, there was a prosecutor, John Beretta, great guy, very, very sharp. And we got into it. I mean, I, he knew I didn't like him. He didn't like me, but, you know, business is business. But at the end of the day, I still have respect for him. Guy sharp, great prosecutor, very, very smart. But, you know, not everybody's always going to get along. It is what it is. I think you should make some EG Vodka. What's that? Pacifica? For the kiddos in the comments. Oh, Pacifier. Okay. I'm sorry, Bella. Yeah, that's all right, Bella. I'm okay. So we can move on with all that. Respect from Ireland. Where where we go? I missed it. Just skipped on me. I saw Respect from Ireland. I didn't get the rest. But thank you, Ireland. I'm glad you're watching. Um, Dom good for Godfather Sakali. Can you tell the story? Oh, sorry. I read that one. It just went over twice. Uh, Philly Mob is a glorified crew. They make anybody and everybody. No, Philly, I, I, I disagree with that. They were formidable. Uh, they probably still are formidable, just on the ground a lot more. And, um, you know, they'll do what they have to do, like any other organized crime family. It's just a different day. But they're not glorified. They're, they're not, definitely not a glorified crew. See, people, I don't jump on the bandwagon. And all these 90% of these haters are from Philly because they stick up for Joey. So I don't jump on the bandwagon. I tell it the way it is. So I could say, oh, yeah, they're a glorified crew. Yes, they're not a glorified crew. They're a legitimate crime family. Danny, I'm glad you picked Team USA. You have too much good in you to waste behind mad respect. Thank you, Danny. I appreciate it. So it's just um, I'm at a better place now, better place. Hey, Dom, do you think the Westies is going to capitalize the docks again uh, now that the Waterfront Commission is no more? The West Side. I'm sorry. Do you think the West Side? Um, everybody's on the ground, folks. So I think they're smart enough to back up. There's a lot more ways to make money legitimately. And I think they know that. So I think right now the people that are running the West Side, which is the Genovese crime family, they're too sharp, too old, and they're just letting every leaving everything status quo. Put everybody on front street. Put many buffers in front of them. They're not seeing anybody, and that's it. But I'll tell you one thing. If I was out there that I wasn't a rat, I'd be knocking on their doors, hanging out with them in their homes. So that's the relationship I had with all of them. Dumb. Don't believe the comments. Thank you. No, nah, I'm okay with them. People are entitled. If they want to bash, they can bash. They want to hate, they could hate. But one thing nobody could say, I ever back down from anything, that's for sure. And you know what? Even uh, I'm going to be going on uh, Tom Del Vecchio show again. We spoke, um, and I told him, Tom, reaching your bag of tricks, ask me whatever nasty questions you want. I'm okay with it. He said, Dom, you're one of the only ones that ever says that to me. And even from Jeff Nadu, Lee Cole, or the shows I went on, ask whatever you want. I'm okay. The only thing I'm not going to talk about um, basically is really go into the Genovese crime family. I'm going to wait till uh, two people pass away, and then it's open season for that family. But for now, I have too much love and respect for the two men there. Dom, are you going to read the the three o twos? I just read the first page. You could go online and find them. That's for sure. Um, and it's just he gave information. Um, you'll see it in the beginning of the video. So if you came in late, just rewatch the video. It's in the beginning. The Bronx. You said Mike knows took everything. Then you said Eduardo took the houses. I'm confused. Eduardo took them. 
why be mad at the nose? No, Michael Nose did help assist taking everything. Remember, I had a bar lounge. Money was taken there. My auto repair shop. Uh, Quiet Don sent somebody there over a million and a half dollars. It was in debt. So it was under. They milked it dry. Uh, checks were going to check cash and play. Like they just took everything from me. Michael knows took my crew, broke the crew down. My Christmas funds from I had a concrete company, I had plumbers, I had electricians. Uh, I had framers that were kicking money every year. Uh, I told you the year I got locked up, I collected $360,000. Yeah, I was locked up. Michael sent uh, my son's mother $3,500. So what do you call that? And yes, Eduardo De La Torre wound up taking the properties with bank. But who knows what organized crime guys were behind that, for that to facilitate. You know, um, you know so people look behind, you know, look more into it. <clears throat> and they're doing Lee Cole, all the big names, okay? Um, BCU Luck Health. I have no idea what the hell you said. Chicky Trump mugshot. I know them both. That's why. Thanks, bro. No, uh, you're welcome. Uh, hey, guy, what's up? Back in the day, back in the day, these punks couldn't <laughs> shine your shoes. Thanks, guy. I appreciate it. Guy's actually uh, a, a man now. Back then, he was younger than me. So I say a kid with respect. But um, he knows about me growing up, uh, my reputation. So like people in the Bronx. Somebody also passed a comment. Dom, everybody in Bure Avenue has nothing good to say about you. Okay. That's good. Like, um, can't satisfy everybody. That's for sure. But I'm surprised Bure Avenue, well, who knows what's there nowadays, but. Let's see. We had uh, just where did you go? Cornbread, Trump, Chicky, knows people believe that. Okay, who knows? Dom, who else got made when you got made? Well, wasn't one of the channels they said I wasn't made? Funny, they said that. But how did I straighten out Anthony Aiello? How did I propose him? Oh, okay. Um, Dom, who else got made? We said that. Um, there was a few people. Once you go away, you're on your own, unless you're a big boss, if you're smart. Not meaning you, but guys that are smart and save their money, they can go away. Their family's financially okay. Yeah, I was okay. I was definitely okay. But all my stuff was in the street. And I asked Vinny, let's liquidate, help me liquidate, help me finish up the construction projects, have Robert Van Zandt finish up the jobs. And uh, Vinny was all about himself and self-preservation. So, Sakali, are you suing chatting with stacks? Uh, I'm not suing anybody. Uh, counsel for E.G. Vacher. Uh, is going after whoever passed any nefarious statements about E.G. Vacher and E.G. Vacher's ownership partners. Um, can't slander, you can't make false statements, but if people want to act stupid and ignorant, E.G. Vacher's attorneys will go after them. Been out to dinner with Junior and was with Vinny in MCC. Oh, this is from Chicky. Manhattan, June 2000, Chick, check social media clowns, but thanks. No, Chicky, thanks for responding. Uh, I did see your interviews. Um, you seem like a real gentleman. So it is what it is at the end of the day. And if you were with Vinny, I'm sure he told you after I cooperated, his heart was broken for the love he had for me. And um, it's just, it's sad. Mine too, but business is business. Who did Cafe Dion belong to back in the day? Cafe Dion was the own the Albanians. That was their territory. Nikki, Alex, and uh, Lenny. Collado, I think his last name is. I ain't like Lenny, but they were Cafe Dion. Dom, stop hating. You're embarrassing yourself for a second time. First, 
you cooperate, and now you look like an emotional woman. Thank you for the articulated words, Mr. Goodman011. Don't hate. What's the hate? I'm happy. I'm not a degenerate gambler. I have a beautiful home. Actually, excuse me, multiple homes, businesses. I'm okay. I'm happy. Don't have to look over my shoulder for the feds coming down on me. Just only somebody trying to kill me, but I'm okay with that. When my time's up, it's up. Whether I get uh, die by lead poisoning or uh, natural causes, it's a race set in stone. So I'm okay. And I don't hate. I just keep it real. That's that's the difference. And if you're too ignorant to notice that, then you really, you're a moron too. Uh, Robert, all you guys say how you got robbed and things taken from you, you guys on the street, and you were all done, and you were all done wrong. You're criminals, dealing criminals. What do you think is going to happen? You know what? You're right. You're right. But when you are second in command, you're a captain in a crime family. There should be some loyalty, especially when the charges you're facing are because of the crime family, because the boss is wearing a wire, the other boss is talking about it. You know, so there should be some loyalty. But you're right at the end of the day, we're all criminals, but there should be uh, some respect amongst thieves, especially when you're high ranking. Definitely. John Jr. is a rat, folks. Cut it out. Scars won't even say Jr. is a rat. He he's working. With the Gotti family, that's why he comes out at Sammy's show. Put scars, put all good Gottis away besides Jeannie. Uh, let me tell you something about Mikey Scars. He's going to do what he wants to do, what he feels right. Nobody's going to tell him otherwise. Whether it be he likes the guys, don't like the guys, he's working with them, not working with them. Just Sammy's misstating a lot of facts. Sammy's being inaccurate, trying to change uh, history. And Mikey Scars is not happen, having it. And that's it. So Mikey Scars is a great guy, has a lot of um, integrity, and he's going to keep it real. So that statement, you're inaccurate with that. And that's my opinion. Chicky, you'd pass out if you knew who I was. LOL. Chicky, would you who'd you say? Oh, Trump mugshot. <laughs> Okay, come on. We're going to be tough guys behind the keyboard now? Wow. I'm glad we don't know who you are because I'm shaking. People, come on, please. Rich, dumb, I don't like. I don't like you because you're a rat, but I wish you would just tell mob stories. When you tell mob stories, like when you killed George, I like those episodes. I hate the back and forth and rat debating. Okay, thank you. I do respect your comment. Um, as long as people <clears throat> keep my name out of titles or they could keep my name in the titles, just be accurate when you do a story. That's all I ask. But you'll hear more stories tomorrow. I'll come out with another one. Might be extortion. Might be. I don't know. We'll see. And it'll be from paperwork. So it'll be accurate. Uh, Dave, thank you for your contribution. Shells, raviolis, um, marigot. Um, Medicati, I'm sorry. Uh, I loved my raviolis as a kid. Cheese raviolis with the mozzarella inside. Uh, regatta inside, I'm sorry. And right now, I like all pasta. That's Italian. Dom, is Ace in prison? If so, he's doing life. Ace is in prison. Ace will be home in about six years, six and a half years, uh, doing 30 years. He took a 30-year plea agreement. So... Dom, does it surprise you that Mikey knows abused Perry Como when he got out? Michael will only abuse people he knows he could get away with it. So to me, Michael's, no, I, I'm not going to leave it alone. There's no love loss here. You never should have gotten out of the camp for killing your neighbor. Scumbag move. And you only did your time then because you had to. You had no one to give up in other cases. Are you out of your mind, Mateo? Are you crazy? I had nobody to give up? 
I would have gave up. I could have gave up half the Bronx. You're out of your mind. There was one of the biggest drug dealers up there. Uh, you, you're crazy. You don't know what you're talking about. But, you know, again, sometimes you have people just want to bash. So you're entitled to it. Uh, let's see who else we have. Steven, your family set you up, but you're the rat. Nah, what they did to you was treacherous, Dom. Much respect for turning your life around. FK, these NPC haters. Well, thank you. Yes, I ratted. I did what I had to do. And that's it. Turn my life around. So a lot of hard work, still moving forward. People go to egvodka.com, buy your vodka today, 100% gluten-free, organic. Uh, three flavors, excellent. You order more than one bottle, price of shipping comes down. We're working on the subscription base for the holidays um, where you could order bulk and then um, maybe every three months where you replenish and it, the shipping will drop. We might even, uh, there's talk, we might even, uh, it'll be free shipping. Depends how many bottles you order. And um, so, listen, you can't beat it. Can't beat it. Excellent vodka. Great investment. You won't go wrong. Christmas gifts, holidays. You'll be hands down. People will be saying, where'd you get this? I want it. And it'll help us build this company. And you know what? You're getting a premium vodka at a uh, average price. Dom. Dom is wearing a wire. On your friends like Messino. Then, no, you know what? Dom never wore a wire. So let's get your stories for it straight. Flipping on everybody turns on you. No, Dom never wore a wire. Dom never wear a wire. Dom isn't cooperating anymore. Dom did his cooperation while he was in jail. So um, Dom's doing his own thing. Non street guys don't really understand the life, they never will. Most of my friends, dead or in jail, they just really, uh, that life, I wish I grew up in a nice neighborhood with better influences. You know what? Everybody does. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. I wish I didn't have to do 20 plus years, but I did. It made me who I am today. Uh, my personality, I wouldn't change it for anything in this world, folks. And I lost a lot of years, but, you know, I'm grateful. I have a head on my shoulders. Um still breathing, thank God, and uh, successful at things I do. Sometimes I fail, but I pick myself back up and we move forward. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. So true, so true. You're right, good statement, but it is what it is. Dom, why all the wise guys come broke from jail and complain nobody helped their families? And that's the sad part, even the wealthy ones. Well, the wealthy ones always cry because when they come home, they don't want people borrowing money from them. But the, that's just the way it is. I'm going to answer one or two more questions, and then we're going to wrap it up today, folks. Dom, why all the wise guys? Oh, we read that one. Let's see what else we have. People think the mob is so exciting, but that's the movie. Some of these people, you would be very disappointed if you met them. And that's from James. Absolutely well said, 1,000% correct. It's not what it once was. It's, they would definitely be disappointed. The movies embellished everything, glamorized everything, made it like the life, the secrecy. But, folks, he is so true. You would definitely be disappointed. So many people, like, shouldn't even be straightened out or straightened out. People say myself included, which now, yes, of course, I ratted. But, you know, when I kept it 100, when I was with the life, you know, uh, it is what it is at the end of the day. I'm sorry. So, uh, went to school with one of the kids' fathers that you ratted. He never hurt you, but he was collateral damage. You know what? I'm sorry about that, but it is what it is. And it's probably Anthony Donato. Um, loved Anthony. Great guy. I felt bad 
But, you know, Vinny caused it himself. Anthony had a plea agreement to eight years. Vinny was looking at 27 years with two cases for a plea agreement. We would all put out. But Vinny wanted to be Vinny, go to trial. So, you know what? It's a domino effect. I wasn't going to be anybody's scapegoat or anybody's donkey. Dominic the donkey, that wasn't happening. So, Dom, can you spend the last couple of minutes talking about Molino? Nah, I'm sorry. I said enough about him. Uh, I just don't agree with what he's doing on social media, but that's his choice. He's a big boy. He can handle himself. Um, and when the chips, sometimes if the house of cards falls in on him, shame on him. That's all I have to say. King of Queens from Southie 31. Then don't join an organized crime organization. You'll be fine. He knew exactly what he's signing up for. Yeah, I did. I did, but I didn't know that my boss was going to wear a wire, and I didn't know my other boss was going to be telling him about the murders I'm doing. So that that's the difference. 27 years is a long time. No. <clears throat> Guys, Vinny was looking at 27 years. Two cases. One case, 17 years they were giving him. The other case, 10 years. Everybody knows who's familiar, who's been through the system. When you're taking a plea agreement, that was Greg Andre's first offer to Vinny Basciano. He could definitely have the cases run together. So that means if the cases are running together when you plea out, even though you have 27 years, you're doing time simultaneously, both cases. So your 10-year sentence will run out. You finish the 17. You're done in about 14 and a half years. You're free. 14 and a half years, that's all he would have had to do. He's free. But he would have been home about six years already. So shame on him. Anthony Donato would have been home 14 years already. I would have probably been home, you know, I would have did maybe 15. Ace would have probably got 10 or 12. We were all had sweet plea agreements because they had nothing but Vinny's big mouth. Vinny should have wrapped it up and did the right thing for everybody. But I'm glad he didn't because I'm in a happier place now. I'm not part of the mafia anymore because to me it would have been a revolving door. Xavier James. Scars wasn't in the know in the 70s. Know how secretive the life was back then. Them people. He's cunning, that's for sure. I'll tell you that he's stating opinions like facts, that your opinion, I know him to be sh straight up. I like him, and that's it. Do you like outing, uh, Sammy? I love the old stories. Sammy's very personable. He comes off good. But Sammy's for Sammy, and I don't like that. I don't appreciate that. And Sammy will do things for money where I won't, Mikey Scars won't. Dom doesn't make excuses why he cooperated, but his fans do. Thank you. Very good. That was a good one. Very very well said. Last one from Mateo. A guy that set up and killed his friend. Oh, we already read that. For petty cash. We already, I already went into that. So we'll do one more. And that's it. Okay. When's Boriello coming back on? I have no idea. So it's up to him. He has an open invitation. Hey, Dom, what's your favorite racket? Back in the day, my favorite racket. I would say when I had those ecstasy pills, they were free. <laughs> Just pushing them out there. That they, they was easy, easy money. Uh, John Jr. ratted. Joey Molino didn't. He stayed. He stands on his two feet. So true. Very true. Uh, Dom, did you last one? Dom, did you rob your grandmother? Throw her down the stairs, or did you throw her down the stairs first? You know what? I'm not. You're just a moron. So you're just a moron. Get a life. What about your grandmother? Uh, we'll definitely go into that. Uh, I'm going to try to schedule with Joe Barone this week, and then we'll put all that to rest. Construction's good. Yes, it was. Very good. 
Bella never knows. Thank you. Bella, love you. Have a great day. Don, please ignore the people. They keep on calling you a rat. Uh, you just, Listen, I know that. But with all that said, people, have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for joining today's 12 p.m. live. Tomorrow again, we'll be coming at 12 live uh, afternoon. So, uh, And we'll be talking about some crimes. Which ones? I have no idea. But we'll be talking about the Bonanno crime family and crimes. Everybody, go to egvodka.com, buy your vodka. Go to demandshot.com, erectile dysfunction, drugs we have there to help you feel like you're young again, give you that stamina you need. We also have Mind Drive, uh, which is great to keep you focused, all natural. Um, you don't need a prescription. And uh, wish everybody the best. Have a great day. Thank you for all the love and support. And haters, keep on hating. I'm okay with it. Keep on hating. It's all good. And for you guys out there, when you tell stories, just be accurate with my words. That's all I ask. So we don't have to be redundant coming back on. And we could go into other stories. Joe Barone's going on the Joe show. Joey's show. Okay, perfect. I'll be talking to him soon. We'll see where he's going. Peace out, everybody. Thank you. London, Ireland, Sweden, uh, Thailand, USA, Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, all over the world. Thank you, people. Much love. Peace out.